Hello grade 10 students, this is Teacher V. Welcome here on my channel. At itutuloy lang natin yung pag-aaral natin about some measures of position. Yung nakaraan, pinag-usapan natin yung quartiles and deciles. So ngayon, yung pinaka-last na measures of position, that is percentiles of ungrouped data. Bago tayo mag-start, click mo muna yung like button sa baba nitong video pagkatapos i-share sa mga kaklase mo para matuto dun sa isamat at meron din mag-guide sa kanila. Quarter 4 na tayo, malapit na. So, konting, konting, konting na lang. Sabi nga nila, patience is a virtue. Okay, kakayanin natin ang mathematics at mahalin natin siya. Alright, so ang ating learning targets, um, you're going to illustrate and compute percentiles of and group data. Medyo madali na lang din to kasi may idea na kayo sa deciles and quartiles. Almost the same lang din naman yung kanilang formula. So later, ipapakita ko sa inyo. Define muna natin yung ibig sabihin ng percentiles. Anyway, sabi nga nila, pag percentiles, these are the 99 score points which divide a distribution into 100 equal parts. Okay. Sa quartiles, 4 equal parts Sa deciles, 10 equal parts. Sa percentiles, 100 equal parts. So that each part represents the data set. Percentiles indicate the percentage of the scores that a given value is higher or greater than. I-illustrate natin siya. For example, the first per percentile separates the lowest 1% from the other 99%. Okay, and here is our illustration. Yan. Hindi ko na pinakita ng division niya na 100 kasi masyado lang malaki yun or mahaba. Ganito na lang. Yung percentile kasi ay may relate natin sa quartiles. Kung sa quartiles, sinahati niya into 4, ito ay... 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%. We can say that uh, 25th percentile is also equivalent to the first quartile. Yung 50th, 50th percentile is also equivalent to the second quartile. And yung 75th percentiles is also equal to the third quartile. Kasi diba, 25%, 50%, 75%. Pagdating naman sa deciles, i-compare din natin yung deciles sa percentiles. Sa decile, sinati niya yung distribution into 10. So, first decile and so on. Ngayon, ang first decile, alam natin na ito ay 10%. Diba? 10%, 20. Okay. Okay, we can say that first decile is equivalent to the 10th percentile. Okay, yung second decile, 20th percentile. Third decile, 30th percentile. And so on. So, 100 diyan. Dili divide ng ating percentile, yung ating distribution into 100 equal parts. So, kumbaga parang tigo 1%. Okay? Pakita natin kung paano tayo magsusolve ng percentiles. So, let's say you find the 20th percentile of the following scores in math 10. Ang step 1 na gagawin natin is katulad lang din sa deciles and quartiles, we have to arrange the data in a sending order. Lowest to highest. Then, lagyan natin ng label kung pang ilan sila sa data. And then, gagamitin pa rin natin yung formula. Pero this time, over 100 na. Makikita ninyo, nung quartiles, ganito din, pero over 4. Kasi hinati nga niya sa apat yung ating distribution. Pag decile, over 10. Kasi hinati niya yung distribution sa 10. Ngayon, itong percentile, over 100. Okay? So, then, ganun pa rin yung K. So, yung K, depende kung ano yung hinahanap natin. Kung second percentile ba, fourth percentile. So, kung fourth percentile, edi fourth to, over 100. Yung N natin is the total elements given or yung total data na meron tayo. Dagdagan mo lang yun ng 1. Then, saka mo yung times dito sa ating K over 100. So, balik tayo dun sa problem. Ang hinahanap is 20th percentile. So, Yung K natin is 20. 20 over 100. And then yung 10, saan nang galing? Okay. Sampu yung data natin. Kaya 10 yan. Plus 1. So, 10 plus 1 is 11. Then 11 times 20. Then divide natin sa 100. 
ang answer is 2.2. Ibig sabihin, ang position, okay, hindi pa ito yung percentile or 20th percentile. Ito pa lang yung position niya. Yung position na ating 20th percentile ay nasa 2.2 position. So, tignan natin. So, 23 and 24. So, dahil lumagpas ng 2, ito yung sabihin, nasa pagitan siya ng 23 and 24 or yung second and third score. Then, gamitan natin ang interpolation para makuha natin yung 20th percentile. So, ang makuha natin position niya is 2.2. Pagkatapos, ang i-compare natin dito is yung second and third element. So, 24, i-minus natin sa 23. So, that is 1. Then, ano yung decimal part na answer natin sa position niya? Ang decimal part ng 2.2, kunin mo lang itong decimal niya, 0.2. Then, i-times natin sa nakuha natin sa step 1. 0.2 times 1. So, the answer is 0.2. And then, yung 0.2, i-add natin dun sa lowest. Dun sa pinag-compare natin ng dalawang number, and which is 23. So, 23 plus 0.2, the answer is 23.2. So, therefore, the 20th percentile is equal to 23.2. Ayan. Another, find the 30th percentile naman, given the scores of 9 students in mathematics periodical test. Step 1, i-arrange natin to lowest to highest, then lagyan natin ang label. Then, step 2, find natin yung position niya, gamit pa rin yung formula. So, ito ay 30th percentile, so ibig sabihin ang K natin is 30. So, 30 over 100. Then, ang N natin is 9. Hanggang 9 yung data natin. 9 plus 1. That is 10. Then, i-multiply sa 30. Then, divide sa 100. The answer is 3 or pangatlong score. So, ang position niya is 3 or pangatlo. Kaya, tignan natin sa data natin. Ngayon, 30A. Therefore, this means that 30%, okay, kasi... 30th percentile, so ibig sabihin 30% of the students got a score of 38 and below. Okay, 38 and below. Okay, ayan. So, ganun lang kung may decimal point yung nakuha niyong position ng ating percentile, gamitan niyo ng interpolation. Kung wala naman, edi tingin na lang tayo sa data. Alright, so wrap up! So, when we say percentiles, this is the 99 score points which divide the distribution into 100 equal parts so that each part represents the data set. So, percentiles indicate the percentage of scores that a given value is higher or greater than. To compute per percentiles, we have this formula. So, katulad lang din sa decile and quartiles, ang pinagkaiba lang nga is yung over. Sa percentile, ang over dito is 100. Then, meron pa rin tayong K. Then, N plus 1. Alright? May questions ka ba about dito? Lagi mo yan sa ating comment section at sasagutin niya ni Teacher V. And kung may mga suggestions ka, pwede mo rin yan sabihin. Alright? And that's it for our lesson. Itutuloy na lang ulit natin sa susunod. Pag-uusapan naman natin yung group data. Okay? Don't forget again to like and share this to others. Kung hindi ka pa nakakasubscribe, subscribe ka na rin sa channel ko at follow me on my Facebook page, VTeach.com channel. Kita-kita tayo ulit sa susunod. Ingat!